What is going on, Polestar fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. Very big week ahead with their earnings. I'm going to go over all the data points and where it might be going based on the earnings and some things to watch for. So I'm going to go over all the things you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So as you can see, currently up 3.77%. It is bouncing off of the lows that did happen on Friday, the big sell-off. I myself did buy in on Friday because why the hell not? Anything below $5, in my opinion, is a screaming buying opportunity for Polestar. And in reality, the upcoming earnings should solidify that because based on their 2023 production targets, they have no indication to slow down. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people somehow don't really like Polestar behind the scenes, but I think they do have a lot of good potential that a lot of people maybe are, might be overlooking. So this is why I did say last video, despite them giving that 7,500 rebate, it still is a very good time to buy, in my opinion, of course. So when it comes down to their upcoming earnings. I'm just going to go over some basic things with you guys. So as you can see right here, their earnings is on March the 2nd. So of course, that is going to be a very, very big deal. That is an early one as well. So it is 7 central time. I'm going to be live streaming that. Don't anticipate the most prettiest look because it is going to be very, very early, but I am going to be live streaming that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But I do anticipate based on their earnings, it to have a fairly good amount of analysts that do follow it. So right now you do see some analysts that are fairly optimistic. And of course, as I always say, Polestar is the only company in 2022 to actually hit their production targets. Of course, that didn't actually get cut or anything such as Lucid. But I think generally speaking, Polestar is a very big force to be reckoned with that a lot of people, like I said, are just overlooking. And based on the technicals, it is very much oversold. So right now, currently trading between the S2 and the S1, it did briefly break below that on Friday. And this is why I did buy in because it's getting killed a lot more than even some very crappy companies. So in general, if you put it in that perspective, it was a great time to buy in. Still, regardless though, my last video, I did say that around $5 would be a very good time to buy in. And of course, course with the actual earnings coming up I do feel that there's going to be a little bit more FOMO coming in and in case you guys don't know or haven't participated in earnings there are several different things investors truly care about one of which is revenue earnings per share and future guidance so for instance revenue it is anticipated based on one analyst it is going to be negative 13 cents so of course not necessarily the best and as well when it comes down to their future guidance I think this is what everyone is caring about because 2022 a lot of companies Companies were very much ambitious. Q4 and Q3, a lot of realization came into play. So a lot of different moving parts, if you want to consider it that way. But this is a very good opportunity that Polestar is doing, giving the opportunity for retail to ask questions to management. So of course, as you can see, the top questions that are being most uh, heavily voted based on the shares represented is this. So any plans to invest in marketing? The average American does not recognize this brand, which of course I think is a very good question. A lot of EVs, especially more so ship on a global scale, marketing is a very big problem for them because of course a lot of these companies are losing money they're not profitable they're not net profitable so to spend money on advertising usually isn't the top priority for a lot of these companies. But once again, I think this is a very good question. Market visibility in the US seems to be lacking. Tesla occupies a significant amount of market space. What is Pulsar's plan for increasing brand awareness in the coming quarter? So once again, I think it kind of piggybacks based on this marketing. When does the advertising start? So clearly, that is what is on everyone's mind. And I didn't actually look at these questions prior to right now. So again, it kind of is a little bit more of a shock that clearly people just care only about marketing and anything like that rather than expansion plans. I think that's more of a bigger priority in my opinion. If they're going to be cutting any locations or if they plan on reaching any other aspect, more specifically Saudi Arabia, based on their 2030 vision, I have covered quite a lot of companies that are really moving to that area. So it'd be very interesting to see what Polestar plans would be doing in that regard. And when it comes down to it, like I said, I always like to look at the data points, one of which is options activity. So for options activity today, for the most part, is very optimistic. A lot of calls being purchased. And based on the most active chains, you can see that around 550 as anticipated so anywhere from 5 to 550 nothing really negative so of course I think when it comes down to their upcoming earnings which 
will most likely dictate where it does go for the rest of the week, I think people are optimistic. And I think that's a very good sign because a lot of other companies going into their Q4 earnings, they were kind of anticipating and expecting the worst. Whereas with Polestar, clearly people are anticipating it to go up. And based on this, I always like to give you guys a quick summary as far as uh, what shorts are doing, not necessarily because this is going to be a squeeze, but these are the individuals that are betting that Polestar is going to go down. Short score is currently 76, utilization is almost about 87%. And as far as what shorts are doing today, they're increasing roughly about 45,000 shares. 3.23% of the free float is in fact being shorted, so it's not the most. So like I always say, I don't anticipate Pulsar having a squeeze, but clearly the fact that they are increasing on a green day, they're very doubtful of Polestar. So despite the actual options activity and what they're pointing towards, there's these individuals are doubling down. Uh, right now, cost to borrow as well, the average is 76%. So that's fairly high. Once again, if there is a very, very good surprise aspect coming out from their earnings, then yes, there could be a good squeeze, of course. Who knows? But when it comes down to the technicals, what are they saying? Hypothetically, still very much bearish. It is below all the pivotal moving averages. And as far as what this is saying, stochastic is currently at 10, so extremely oversold. Momentum number retail investors are getting back in today. Clearly, like I said, there's a lot of good hope in regards to their earnings, which of course I do anticipate that to piggyback and have a little bit more of a continuation of FOMO if you wanna consider it that way. But like I said, on the actual chart, it is a little bit more bearish unless it does break break over the $5.47. So once again, I think that's just generally a lot of other growth stocks in the similar kind of situation, just they got hit over the last couple of weeks after having most likely a two month rally. So once again, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. I personally do feel that they are going to exceed and beat on all of their aspects, including revenue, earnings per share, and future guidance. But of course, as I always say, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, just I personally do really like Polestar. Clearly a lot of people don't necessarily like it. They were a little bit more gray in the past, but I personally do really like Polestar. I like the fact that they are able to really pump out a lot of vehicles and of course you can always invest in technology on later models which of course I think they already technically have committed to so in general the negatives aspects of Polestar is really going away so I think right now what you really need to do is based on these questions you just need market share you need to have good marketing to take market share from Tesla because as I've said in the past Tesla and Polestar are the only two pure global EV play. So once again, I think this is something that people are really wanting. They want the best for Polestar. And in general, this might be a very, very good time to buy in because based on some of the analyst ratings as well, um, as you can see, Barclays, what's the latest, uh, that was at $7.00. Previously, looks like it was $7 as well, but clearly an upside average of $8, so around 57%. So I think in general, a lot of these are very still conservative, so it could go up very, very high. But once again, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. There is a promo for one or two more days, and that is with Moomoo. All you have to do, click on the link in the description below or the comments, open up a free account, and you get one free stock. Each stock is valued up to $2,000, so it is a complete no-brainer. Make sure you guys take advantage of this. If you do want to throw $100 down at it as well, you do get additional four free stocks. So like I said, take advantage of this while you can. And with that said, let's all make a lot of money on Polestar.